Okay, so this is question number five from the year 2007. So let's just take a look at this. Um, we have a little piston cylinder here. Um, it tells you the diameter of the piston, right? It tells you how many moles, it tells you the pressure, and it tells you the uh, molar mass, okay? All right, calculate the force. So what's our equation for force? We have lots of equations, but when you're dealing with fluids, what's our equation for force? Uh, well, I guess uh, I'm going to put it in terms of pressure. Pressure is force over area, right? So force would equal P times the area. So that's what you're going to do here. You're just going to find that. So our pressure was 4 times 10 to the fifth. And our area, this is a circle, right? So that would be pi r squared and what, did they give us our r? They gave us our diameter, right? So we're going to find the radius and square out the radius. Alright, so the answer is 1.3 <coughs> times 10 to the fourth newtons. And this is uh, how they would score this is basically one point for kind of the setup and one point for the answer. <coughs> so two points. All right, letter B, calculate the volume of the gas if the temperature is 300. So this one we're simply going to be using PV equals NRT. Good. Make the substitution, solve for the volume. I don't feel like I need to do that. You're going to get V equals 1.2 times 10 to the negative 2 meter cubed. Okay, the, again, this was worth two points. One point for the setup one point for the answer. So if you've already gotten four points, you've already passed the AP test, right? You got four points. The rest, you can just be like, oh, I'm in bonus territory now. Letter C, unless, of course, you're going for a five. Number C, in a certain process, the piston is allowed to move. The gas is a constant pressure, pushes the piston out 0.15. Calculate how much work is done by the gas. So there's really two ways you can do this. You could use your work equals negative pressure change in volume, right? <coughs> or what else could we do? Work equals force times distance, right? So you could use either of those um, to solve this one. Probably the easiest, since you already know the force, would be to use force times distance and just go ahead and solve it. Um, in the context of these types of problems, most of the time you're going to probably be using this P delta V when you solve for it. But either way, it should be fine. Uh, what's the answer? Work equals <coughs> 1.9 times 10 to the third joules by the system. Now, one of the things I want you to be careful of, if you were to plug this in, you would have gotten a negative answer, right? that negative answer tells you that it's done by the system. You want to be careful. If you were to write negative by, then that's kind of doing the opposite, right? Negative by means on. So you want to be careful. You should really, if they ask you for by the system, you should just express it as a number and just say by the system. Okay? Yeah. Um, would you miss the point if you didn't say why? If you just put negative, um, if you didn't say by, they probably would give it to you just because the question said is how much is done by the system. So you're answering it directly. So I don't think they would penalize you for that. Just be careful. They probably would penalize you if you just left your answer as a negative number. Um, okay, are we good with that, ABC? This was worth two points also. So basically one point for the setup, one point for the answer. So if you've gotten all six, then you've gotten a four. All right, letter D. Which of the following is true of the heat energy? Uh, which following is true of the heat energy transfer to? Oh, actually, let's just take a add an additional question here. What if they asked you to graph this? <coughs> what would it look like? How would we have graphed this? 
maybe you can just tell me what's the shape of the graph it tells you that it is constant pressure what's the other name for constant pressure okay so constant pressure means your graph would look like this right and how should I be drawing the arrow to the right or to the left to the right and how do we know it's to the right <coughs> because it expands meaning the volume is getting larger volume is getting larger okay all right um, is heat transferred to or from the gas and how do you know so let's just do the justification and by doing the justification we will come up with the answer so the key thing when doing these justifications is you should be using delta U equals Q plus W. That's our law of thermodynamics, right? First law. Okay, so first of all, we know that uh, work is being done by the system, right? Work is being done by the system. So is work going to be positive or negative? Negative. So you should be having a negative work here, right? Secondly, and that's because, I'll just write it, because by the system, and in your calculation, it would have initially been negative, right? Now, delta U, is delta U going to be positive or negative? Positive. And how do we know delta U is positive? Okay, so PV equals NRT. Remember, U is directly proportional to T. That's the key concept with U, directly proportional to T. So if my volume got larger and my pressure was constant, what happens to my temperature? Temperature goes up. So if my temperature goes up, what happens to U? U goes up. Therefore, delta U is positive. So that should be kind of your explanation as you're going through this. So now back to this, since delta U is positive and W is negative, notice what happens. What does Q have to be? So you have delta U, you end up with delta U plus W equals Q. And so what happens? Well, Q has to be positive, therefore. So you would say heat is added, that's the answer, heat is added, and then your explanation would basically be because work is removed, or work, sorry, work is done by the system with the negative W, and temperature goes up, meaning delta U is positive, therefore Q has to be added according to the first law of thermodynamics. Whenever they ask you to explain, you should automatically go to this, okay? They, they almost always ask this, go to delta U, use that to help you in your explanation. All right, any questions?